y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 let's play pleasant view so today we are back with the broke family y'all brandy when i came into the safe hall it was the saddest little thing ever she was making up dustin's bed i think she definitely misses her baby boy since he left now i know there's a lot of mixed opinions on her being you know a good mom or not but you know what she i think she's a phenomenal mom she's a single mom raising three boys and yeah dustin i guess you would say kind of grew up badly into his teenage years he was kind of a criminal kind of rebellious cut now but you know what his dad passed away and he had all the responsibility to you know provide for his family and you know she was stressed out she took it out on him she was trying to raise him right so i think she did a pretty good freaking job but anyways, I think she's very sad that he is gone, but you know what? She's got two more boys to raise, and you know what? She was ready to move on. She's ready to find romance again, and lo and behold, this gentleman right here, let me show y'all, he was on our doorstep. Whoa, I'm so scooting over the, all over the place. He was on our doorstep reading our newspaper. His his outfit's a little bit questionable, but I can work with it. He's handsome. They got matching black hair. I think they really complement each other as a couple, but his name is Craig Ray, and she doesn't have the greatest attraction to him, but she does think he's cute, and you know what? Why not? So she invited him in to, you know, talk to her, chat with her, watch TV with her, and she, uh, yeah, she's just going to see where it goes. I'm not really ruling anybody else out. Um, I don't know. Do we know anybody else? I mean, no, not really. Uh, Gilbert Je Jacquet. Jacquet? I don't know how to say that, y'all. Don't come after me. Um, no chemistry at all. John Burb, she, she has a lot of chemistry with, but John Burb is in a secret affair with Dina, so I don't think that's happening. But anyways, all right, stop talking to him. See, she wants to get married and she wants to have a baby, another baby. I don't know about all that. I think she needs to kind of slow her roll because she's going to be an elder in 17 days. I think she, she needs to consider that she's got too many kids and uh, not enough money. But you know, if she ever remarried um, and had a little bit more support, I would consider it, but I think she needs to just, that needs to go away, that needs to disappear. We're going to pretend we never seen that, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to have her come over here and serve some, I guess we can serve some hamburgers. Um, what is he doing? Be charmed. Oh, he's going to flirt with us. I hear you, Brandy. <laughs> oh my God, that dog. Get out. Oh my God, it's so weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's have her cook because I do believe, yeah, Bo will be home shortly and oh, he's not hungry, but he does need to have some fun and work on his homework and, you know, he wants to have good grades and, you know, be like his brother and go to school. And then we have little bitty Ethan over here. He's so cute. He wants to learn nursery rhyme, learn to talk, walk, potty train, and all of that good stuff. So he just aged up. So we got to work on all of that. Um, but he's doing pretty good. He's taking him a little nap and um, he's got to use the bathroom. So as soon as we get done eating, we need to try to run over here real fast and potty train him before it's too late. So are you going to come eat with us? Because I'm down for it. Yeah, come sit and let's have a chat. Let's eat and get to know each other a little bit. All right, so Bo just got home from school and he terribly needs to have some fun. So we're going to have him come watch TV. What a good week it's been. I hope I can keep this up. All right, and then I have Brandy. She's cleaning out the toilet over here. We're gonna potty train Ethan. Oh my God, she is filthy. She needs a shower. She really needs to have some fun. You know what would be fun, Brandy? You know what could get that fun up? A good little woohoo here with Mr. Craig. But I mean, come on, we just met him. <laughs> Let's not be that forward, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, um, they just had a nice little chat while they were eating. She was talking about her kids and everything. And you know, with with the toddler she can't really give him all her attention in time he woke up and she was kind of like um anyways my son Bo is in there watching tv if you want to introduce yourself so uh Bo this could be your new daddy I'm <laughs> just kidding but for real oh okay they're not getting along he does want to do his homework and he wants to ask for homework help he wants to buy a bird cage <gasps> let's do that I forgot you can have birds and stuff on here you can have like these little small pets which yeah, I forgot all about that. So which one is the bird cage? Is this it? The yeah, I think that's the oh, that's pet. Okay, this is the ham. Oh, I'd rather him have a hamster, but he wants a bird. Really, you want this big old bird? 
I don't want you to have a bird. I want you to have a hamster. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a hamster instead. I don't care what you say. All right. Let's have him come over here and stock the cage. And he's going to have a little pet hamster. Teach him some responsibility. Perfect. All right. So, oh, let's do this one. That one looks really scary. We're going to name him, um, 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 uh, <laughs> we're going to name him Harry because he's a fan of Harry Potter. I don't know. All right. Brandy is having a fit. So, okay. Take a shower. All right. And Bo, let's fill Harry's food bowl with $10 worth of food. So, you know, he's not starving to death. That's not the way you want to start off this little relationship you have here with your pet. And it looks like little Ethan is working on um, his little shapes and learning. So that's good. We'll let him continue that. And yeah, I know you got to have some fun. Oh no, did Craig leave? Oh my gosh, who is this? Oh my gosh, we have like oh, so many options. Ooh, I mean, I know if she did. She was. She probably purchased some love potion and put it on this newspaper. Because we have all these fellas coming and just like barging in. Oh, there he is. Okay. Anyways. I mean, we have a lot of problems going on here. I'm sorry, dude, but they are not as bad of a problem as that outfit you've got on. If we're going to be a thing, honey, that's got to go. I'm going to have to teach him some fashion skills, give him a little makeover. But I think their house is so cute. I'm so glad that we upgraded finally. And, um, you know, I know it's not realistic. They came from, like, pretty much nothing to this nice furniture. But, you know what, we're just going to pretend that, you know, like I said before, she kind of got the funds from... Her dad, or not her dad, um, the boy's dad, his pension check, or not pension, social security, um, I don't know, what do you, I don't know anything about that, but life insurance, whatever, came through, and, uh, so she decided that he would definitely want them to have a better house, and so, yeah, I'm excited for them, I really, really am, but I'm gonna let their fun get up a little bit, and then have them work on their, you know, basic needs. I'm gonna have him do his homework and whatnot. Hopefully, Craig won't leave because I do want to talk to him a little bit more, kind of get a little romantic with him, maybe a little frisky. I mean, she's feeling young. She's on the prowl. Why not? All right. So, update. They have been flirting like crazy. He's hugging her. I think it's going well. <laughs> but the boys. It's time for their bedtime. Oh my god, he's... Oh my god, I'm in love with him. I love him. I really, really do. Okay, I guess you can't do your homework because it's in the way or something. That is so freaking cute. Just see him come over here and hug him, Bo. He's just proven that he can be a good daddy. Um, but I want us to come over here and um, place Ethan in his chair and make sure he's fed because I do believe yeah, he's about ready to clonk out. And then we need to potty train him, I guess. Hopefully before, maybe he won't potty on himself before we put him in the bed and get that taken care of. I'm not really sure why he's wearing a pink onesie. I can't be bothered to change it. And Craig is just hanging around, waiting on her to get the boys to sleep. And that's really sweet. I really like him, y'all. I really do. And I think she does. Like, it doesn't bother her that or it doesn't bother him that she's a single mom or anything like that. He just finds it very attractive, and I like him. I approve. So let's get him a bottle. Did he leave? Okay, don't leave, okay? I promise we're going to pay some attention to you. We're going to have lots of fun and lots of conversation. Um, just let me get the boys to sleep. No, no, no. Drink the bottle. Oh, my God. Really? 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 Where are you going? Where are you putting him? Don't put him in the bed. I want him to drink the bottle because... Oh, did he drink it? I'm so confused at what's going on right now. Okay, apparently he did drink it. But, but, but... We do need to get him uh, potty trained or have him use a potty before he uses it on himself. We're definitely going to work on our parenting skills and be better parents. But she has become best friends with both of the boys, which is really sweet. Um, her and Dustin's relationship is, is salvageable. They used to be really close. And then, of course, his teenage years, he kind of put her through hell a little bit. Um, and deep down, you know, he kind of struggled with resenting her for, you know, having to step up and be father, you know, to the boys and support them. So really, are you not going to, really? Why are you cheering for him? He didn't do crap. Okay. 
I can't be bothered. Y'all are both so sleepy. Craig, I don't even know, son. We might know he wants to go sleep with his mom. That is so freaking sweet. Oh, she's so sleepy. She's going to come tell her a joke. I really want them to get flirty. Let's, let's have her flirt with him a little bit. <gasps> He's falling for her. Let's give him, oh, uh, okay, so we can flirt with him, but he won't give us a friendly hug. All right, you know what? Let's just tell him we, <laughs> it's been fun, it's been real, but it's late. The boys, you know, they're, they're tired. Oh, he was going to give us an earthly hug. Now you want to give us a hug. She, did she not tell him goodbye? I guess he's just going to hang out and watch us sleep. Is he leaving? Okay, good. About to say, that's creepy. Alrighty, so it's the next morning, and Bo is off to school. We're getting Nathan a bottle. Not Nathan, this is Ethan. <laughs> We're getting Ethan a bottle. She does work today at 5 p.m. I'm hoping that after we put him to sleep for a nap, we can invite over <laughs> Craig again and see if we can kind of, you know, maybe give him a little bit of attention since the last time we didn't really get that opportunity. Um, he's about to pee and poop on himself, but it's okay. We're going to put him to sleep because he's about due for, he's about due for a, um, a bath anyway. So we're going to call Sim, invite them over, and then we need to have, um, we got some pancakes for leftovers. I think we can have some pancakes. And then, yeah, when Craig comes over, we're just going to continue to hang out with him and get to know him a little bit more. Um, invite him over. <sighs> um, she's like, I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I could, you know, meet you somewhere. But, you know, can my friend come over too? Sure, I guess. Why not? I wanted to get to know you one-on-one. -on -one, but if, if, you, if you think so, I mean, your friend might be more attractive than you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but not really. <laughs> Anyways, she's like, yeah, uh, so you mind coming over and hanging out with me? Um, I, I do have work later, and I need to stay home with with uh, Ethan and watch him for a little bit. Uh, he's like, oh, no, I don't mind at all. So is this his friend, Troy Troy Go? He, is he a, he looks like a teenager, kind of. Oh, wait, maybe not. Is this his friend, Sarah McCarthy? You're bringing your grandma over to meet us? Are we that serious right now? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, and somebody dropped off the magic lamp thing for us. Or not magic, yeah, the magic lamp. I don't even remember how to do that or what the purpose of that is, but we're going to do it in just a minute. Um, I want her to hurry up and finish eating. And I want to put away these leftovers because, we, you know, we're going to save that-ish. Um, I guess we can invite everyone or greet everyone, invite them in. Um... I'm not really sure why he's bringing Grandma McCarthy over, <laughs> but we're just going to roll with it, okay? Let's come over here and rub this lamp. Kiss, kiss, darling. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Okay, I guess we can't get to it. Oh, really? Okay. Just just come over here and watch TV with him, and then, then we'll take care of the lamp. We're going to put the lamp right here, okay? Because your fun is still still very low and I have been working on it ever since I started this started this LP um this LP this part but yeah let's uh oh okay she's talking about uh who is that and why does she have a crush on him who even is that is that somebody on tv or something I don't know maybe maybe they're talking about somebody on tv look like Morgan Freeman <laughs> Morgan Freeman I tell you what she's like ugh <laughs> what even this is hilarious i really like craig though he's a sweetheart and i think we do have a nanny right i think we did hire a nanny that comes according to our schedule i hope so i think sh i'm pretty sure i said it for that so she'll just show up no 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 oh i wonder if that's his grandma i wonder who she is i mean uh, not really sure like I said why he's bringing his grandma over so soon but you know what we're just we're not going to complain that the more the merrier I mean that's a good sign right he's introducing her to his family um how is Nathan doing oh he's really got to use the restroom okay the restroom he has to use the little potty okay 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 hurry up and Brandy is gaining enthusiasm about games I hate that you have to empty this every single time before you can potty train them 
you don't have to do that in the sims 4 and i appreciate that <laughs> but let's potty train ethan see i just i feel like i'm not spending any time with him because i'm working so hard on her freaking needs and then of course taking care of the kids which is you know priorities we need to bathe ethan too before um we have to go to work I probably need to make sure that we have a nanny and that she comes um, so I don't miss work because we definitely need to go to work. We definitely have to get those uh, those hours in so we can get some money. We don't have Dustin here helping us. Okay, y'all, that's a little weird. Can you please stop like kiss kiss darling in my, in my bedroom? Uh, okay, we'll continue to do it too. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Brandy, I think that if he's a, this obsessed with his grandma or whoever she is, that he keeps kiss kissing her, um, it might be a sign to run. I'm just kidding. I'm not running. I'm not going anywhere. I freaking love him. So let's admire him and just tell him, uh, okay, oh, no, don't walk in on him using the restroom. <laughs> um, Ethan, go play with your toys. Um, the car full where Brandy will arrive in about an hour. Wait, I want to make sure we have, no, okay, we're going to call this, um, yeah, we're going to call and make sure we have a nanny. I guess we probably need to say goodbye to our guests since we're about to have to leave to go to work. Uh, all right, so we're going to hire the nanny, call, and make sure that uh, she's still on. She's still coming. Um, hey, Brandy, housework. Did you want me to come over now, or did you want to talk about canceling or regular schedule? Um, okay, never mind. So we do have a schedule. Cool. Okay, so let's say goodbye to everyone um, and just... Thank him again for coming over and hanging out with us. And it was so nice to meet you, uh, Miss McCarthy. Very nice to meet you. Um, but I will be calling you, Craig, and hopefully we will be able to hang out. Oh, Bo's home, and he is a dying of boredom. I need to get something um, for him to have fun on. Maybe like a swing set. What gets their fun up? All right, so I purchased this uh, nice little... Oh, not you. I'm sorry, baby. You come out here and play on the playground because I didn't even finish my sentence. <laughs> I had purchased this nice little playground out here for the boys since she does have two boys. And, I mean, the TV and their little toys in here is definitely not cutting it when it comes to their fun. So, I'm hoping this helps. All right. So, Karen, Annie Karen is here. So, we must be ready to go to work. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here since she is about to head off to work and the boys are just going to, you know, play, do their homework, and hang out with uh, Nanny Karen. So anyways, y'all, let me know what you thought about this part. Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Do we like Craig? I think I like Craig. I think she's falling for Craig. I think Craig's falling for her. I mean... I think Bo likes Craig, which is really exciting. So, yeah, let me know what you think about Craig and Brandy and her dating. Do you think she's ready for that? Oh, and also, somebody remind me, we have to rub this lamp and see what happens in the next part that we come back and see the Broke family. But anyways, y'all, y'all, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so serious. I have been recording nonstop today. I'm losing my mind. I can't speak, <laughs> but I'm about to go now. I'm finally done pre-recording and doing all this junk. I'm about to go have a nice weekend, but hope you guys enjoyed this part. Thumbs up, you know, if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!